We're here in Peter Maritzburg, South Africa, uh, getting ready for the start of the first World Cup of the 2011 season, talking with Catherine Pendrell from Team Luna, who will be wearing the number one plate in the women's cross country as the uh, defending World Cup champion. Mm -hmm. Now, um, how do you feel going into this? I mean, you came here straight from Sea Otter, so uh, not a lot of time in between. How, how are you feeling now you've had a chance to, you know, be here a day, rest your legs a little bit, and, and, and ride the course. Yeah, um, the course is great. It's a lot of fun. Lots of uh, fun twisty corners through the trees, drops, and rock gardens and stuff. Um, feels so far so good. I mean, I mean, I guess this morning when I started on my bike, legs didn't feel so hot, but I've had some pretty good sleep. So, you know, hopefully that trend continues, and I'm excited to race, get the season started. I think the women are going to be going really good this year. Like just watching the early season stuff, I think it's going to be a pretty uh, fun season to watch. Yeah, I mean, and it's, you know, Olympic qualifying is starting to get underway, so there's a little more pressure on there to, to do well. And, I mean, you and I were just talking before we started uh, filming about, you know, the Canadian women. You know, mm -hmm. there's you and there's Marie Helen and now there's Emily who, yeah. who won in Sea Otter last weekend. There's three of you going to be fighting it, fighting it out. Yeah, yeah, no, it's good. I think the, the more women that we have going fast, the, the faster we'll be as a nation. So, uh, you know, I mean, well, hopefully we all have good seasons and uh, we'll just push ourselves to be the best in the world. Now, this is your first time in South Africa because two years ago, um, your team decided uh, not, not, not to come to this yeah. one. So what's your impressions now being here uh, for, for this race for the first time? Um, I like seeing monkeys yesterday. That was pretty cool. Um, yeah, as far as South Africa goes, it's, um, you know, it doesn't feel that dramatically different. Um, you know, kind of the soil and stuff like that is a lot like South America. Um, pretty laid back vibe to it, um, but pretty comfortable. Um, we found a great B&B that we're staying in out in the country. So uh, yeah, it's very comfortable and happy to be here. Very humid. Um, and uh, if it rains, it is gonna be mucky, mucky grossness. <laughs> now, for uh, bike choice. I mean, I've been, I've been seeing riders out there on full suspension 26, hardtail 29ers, 29, full suspension. I mean, what do you the think? Full gamut. Is, yeah. Yeah, I think it's, you know, whatever as a rider you're the most comfortable with. I think definitely, um, you know, with all the rock gardens and things like that out there, that uh, a full suspension is, I think it's trending towards that being perhaps the bike of choice. Um, but I'm, I'm very happy on my 26 hardtail. Um, so. Yeah, I think uh, it all depends on who's got the fastest legs okay. at the end of it. Now, what about um, the, the course? I mean, um, there's a lot of um, a lot of single track, which is quite fast. There's some open fire world, but then there's, as you mentioned, there's like those three or four pretty technical rock gardens. So, who's who's it going to favor? I mean, there's enough difference there that. Yeah, um, you know, I it's kind of hard to tell right now. Um, I think Julie Brissett is definitely a rider to watch. She's still under 23, but she's kind of got the whole package, physical, technical. Um, hopefully myself and my teammates. Um, I think Willow, you know, a couple girls raced here last weekend, so they're going to have a little bit of advantage, particularly if it rains, because they're going to know what it feels like. Um, so uh, yeah, it's first race, kind of, we'll have to wait and see. <laughs> okay. Well, good luck on Saturday. Thanks.